Hey there, Taylor Elwood here, and um, <clears throat> today I was reading an article about how to know when it's time to quit. You can actually find it below um, this post um, by Tara Gentili, which I recommend reading. It's it's a good good uh, good article. Uh, certainly gave me some food for thought. I want to be clear too. Um, you know, in a very recent email I wrote to my e-list, I've I said, and and you know, I of course closed the, the Eccentric Entrepreneurs Facebook group. I said, you know, um, you know, right now I'm kind of I'm taking a break. You're not going to hear from me for a while. But it, what some people I think got the mistaken impression that I was closing the doors on Eccentric Entrepreneurs, and I'm not. Am I taking some time to figure out what I'm going to do with Eccentric Entrepreneurs? Yes, I have to do that. I mean, things have not worked up until now. And so it's, it's, it's time to sit with that and, and really figure it out. And that's what I call failing forward. It's, it's acknowledging that you failed um, at something, but knowing at the same time that you, you have to find a way to move forward. Quitting is basically just saying, yeah, I, I can't do this anymore. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I give up. You know, in one sense, I've, I've kind of done that with one of the businesses that I'm in because I realized, you know, at a certain point I, that, that the way it was working, it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Um, and, and I really just need to take a break from that one. But with this one, I still want to be, uh, I still want to do business consulting and, and help people out. I just, I just know that what I've been doing for the past year in particular hasn't worked. Like everything worked until about a year ago and then things just went sideways. And I think that was because of the classes that I was taking. So what I'm really saying here is that, you know, in, in, in this particular case, I'm taking this, this period of time to fail forward. I failed and I'm spending some time figuring out where I'm going with that failure. You know, what are the lessons I can learn from this? And it's why I can't spend too much time right now on messaging or marketing or things like that. Like I'm not, I'm not going to really be doing any marketing per se for the next few months because I just need time to sit with this and figure things out. Where do I go from here? What, what have I learned? What, you know, how do I make any of this viable? But I don't want to quit because to me, quitting would be giving up on this dream that I have of doing the work that I do and making a difference in people's lives. And I like the, I, I like making a difference in people's lives. It's something that's important to me in the context of this particular business model. Um, so, you know, am I quitting eccentric entrepreneurs? No. Am I failing forward? Most definitely. And for me, failing forward is resetting, going back to the basics, stripping away all the, all the things I've been told that haven't worked and just letting them go in order to come back to a place of, well, what, is, what can work and where do I go from here with that? You know, sometimes, sometimes with business, when, when things aren't working, you, you just basically have to strip everything away and go back to basics. And that's really where I'm at with all of this. I guess that's where I'm at with the other business as well. Uh, you know, I'm kind of going back to basics with it just in a different way. But anyway, I just wanted to share that and, uh, and you know, that's it. So thanks for watching and talk to you later.